Disclaimer. Everything in this video and all my videos are my opinions based on detailed research that I perform. Therefore, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. Hello, friends. Welcome back to this channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the honorees for the 2023 Women of Vision Award, specifically for Meghan Markle for Digital Media Award for her Spotify podcast, Archetypes and Prince Harry's Court Case. In this video, we will be discussing the significance of this award and the impact that Meghan Markle claims to have had on women's rights and gender equality and what Prince Harry's court case entails. Personally, I think this award is ridiculous for Meghan, who on their tax review showed that she and Prince Harry basically worked one hour a week, just 52 hours a year on a work they claim to love. After saying you don't have to be royal to be a humanitarian, well, I am sure that most humanitarians work more than one hour a week and 52 hours a year. This report was not so surprising to me. Prince Harry and Elton John, along with five other high-profile claimants, are suing Associated Newspapers, the publisher of the Daily Mail and the Mail on Sunday, over allegations of phone tapping and privacy breaches. The lawsuit alleges that the publisher unlawfully obtained information about them between 1993 and 2018. The claimants have accused the Daily Mail and Mail on Sunday of carrying out numerous unlawful acts, including bugging calls, obtaining private information, and commissioning breaking and entry. Associated Newspapers denies the allegations and is seeking to have the case thrown out. This marks the first time the publisher has become embroiled in the ongoing litigation over unlawful information gathering by British newspapers. Well, it seems like Prince Harry is on another privacy tour, going after the British media. If what Prince Harry is accusing them of is true, then I find that very bad. But please can Prince Harry stop blasting his family anytime he gets the opportunity? According to People's Magazine, Prince Harry blasts royal family says they without doubt withheld information from him on phone hacking. Hopefully, he has evidence to prove all this claim. Now to Meghan Markle. The Women of Vision Award is given to women who have demonstrated exceptional leadership, commitment, and vision in advancing the status of women and girls around the world. This award recognizes the achievements of women who have broken barriers and made significant contributions in various areas including education, health, human rights, and economic development. Honorees for the 2023 Women of Vision Awards, celebrating generations of progress power, have been announced. Last week, it was revealed that the Duchess of Sussex has won a digital media award for her Spotify podcast, Archetypes. Why I agree with people who disagree with this award is due to a new tax filing that showed that she and her husband worked only one documented hour of work a week, that is 52 hours a year for their Arcoel Foundation in 2021. Critics argue that she does not deserve such recognition due to her lack of significant work. Additionally, columnist Justin Smith has called it ridiculous that Markle is receiving the award and has questioned the criteria for the award. However, the MS Foundation, Gloria Steinem, which is presenting the award to Markle, has praised her global advocacy to empower and advocate on behalf of women and girls. Frankly, I don't think that her Spotify podcast actually deserves such award. Maybe just her team. The podcast was basically about her trying to make herself to be a victim and criticizing the royal family and airing her grievances about them. And it is this same royal family that helped give her this platform and fame because she was not famous until she started dating Prince Harry. Also, who did this podcast help? Because I don't see how that podcast helped stereotypes that get leveled against women. All it did was highlight how people, celebrities, who are privileged to have such a huge platform, display themselves as victims instead of teaching women how they overcame challenges that came their way, although some of her guests on the podcast still tried. The podcast was just Meghan talking mostly about herself. Um, my podcast. In conclusion, Meghan Markle's selection as one of the honorees for the 2023 Women of Vision Award is fishy in my own opinion. 
it should go towards real and genuine women who truly promote gender equality and women's rights and are inspiration to millions of women around the world. Thank you for watching this video. I would love to hear your own opinion in the comment section. Kindly like and subscribe and see you on the next video. Bye!